Hi friends, uh, here we are going to solve another problem of the arithmetic progression related to anthem formula. So the question is saying, let me speak the question. For what value of n are the nth terms of two APs? AP stands here for the arithmetic progressions. Uh, the first term is 63 comma 65 comma 67 and that's 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 right and 3 comma 10 comma 17 uh, that's 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 equal right means here are two APs this is our first AP and this is our second AP and for this both AP uh, there is some term right suppose there is some nth term that nth term is equal in here also and here means the both AP's nth term is equal. That nth term we need to find out, right? So we need to find out the value of this n, right? So to find out the value of this n, first we should know the fundamentals, right? Uh, wh what are the requirements that uh, we have to do first? Means first we should know the com uh, common difference and the first term of this, and again here common difference and the first term of this, right? So let me first write one by one. Uh, the first AP is right here. The first AP I'm writing first AP is 63 right comma 65 comma 67 and so on right and our second AP is right I'm writing here second AP that's second arithmetic progression that's 3 comma 10 comma 17 and so on right so here the first term is 63 and the common difference here is uh, let me uh, find the difference here so 65 minus 63 uh, 65 minus 63 of course that is 2 right and here let me find the first term that is 3 and the common difference is let me subtract here between these two that is 10 minus 3 that is 7 now uh, let me find the nth term here the nth term of this AP and nth term of this AP both are equal means in both nth term is equal according to the question right so nth term of this AP what will be the nth term formula right nth term means a n right is here a plus n minus 1 times the common difference and here also it is the a nth term suppose it will be a plus again uh, sorry the n is common that's why I have to write n minus 1 times the common difference d right so in in this situation see I have written n and common both sides why because uh, this is small d means a small common difference for this this small d indicates the common difference of this first ap and this capital d indicates the common difference of the second arithmetic progression and capital a here indicates the uh, here right it's the capital a right let me write here capital a and capital d for this arithmetic progression and a small a small d for this arithmetic progression now the nth term of this and this both are equal right according to the question nth term of first AP is equal to the nth term of the second AP right now we have to just solve this relation we'll be getting the values of the n right so let me change the color suppose this one fine now nth term of this that is a plus n minus 1 into d right we don't know the value of n and we know rest of this so first term is here 63 right a plus again n minus 1 right the common difference d right the common difference d is here too and for this uh, arithmetic progressions the first term is here 3 right and n minus 1 is the same because the nth term it is since uh, both the nth terms are equal the common difference is here 7 right now let's solve this equation or 63 plus 2 times n it will be 2n and 2 times 1 it will be 2 right and again it's 3 plus 7 will multiply this 9 uh, sorry n that's why it will be 7n and then 7 times 1 it will be minus 7 right so let me arrange it properly uh, uh, here in this side I'm writing all the numerical parts and in right side I'm writing all the alphabetical parts so is here 63 minus 2 so it will be 61 and this is here plus 3 so here it will be negative 3 and it is here negative 7 so when it will come this side so it will be positive right so it will be positive 7 right now come this side it is here 7n right here 2n is also positive so when it will go this side it will be negative right so minus 2n or now see 61 see minus 3 plus 7 it will be plus 4 right 
uh, always plus minus is minus but the sign is always of greater one so here 7 is greater than 3 that's why sign will be a positive equals to now 7 n minus 2 n it will be of course 5n I'm writing it a little bit properly so 5n is now equals to 61 plus 4 that is 65 right okay so friend we got the value of n simply since here 5 is dividing here sorry multiplying here now in this side in right side it will be dividing since here multiplying it right so 5 and 5 13 just 65 so we got the value n is equals to 13 it means the all right uh, the nth term of this ap right an nth term of this ap it means 13th term of this ap and 13th term of this ap this both ap are equal right and if you want to find out the value also uh, here for what value of nth are the nth term uh, terms of AP this and this is equal so for the 13th term of this both AP uh, both of the uh, nth term are the equals means both the 13th terms of this and 13th term of this both are equal if you want to find out also you can find find out easily simply putting the value of n right so let me put here no, I'm doing upside also here only what is the exactly the 13th term let me find out right so a 13 will be now a that is 2 right sorry let me directly write here this way yeah I'm putting the formula here. a plus n minus 1 times common difference here a is 63 n is the 13th term so it will be 12 minus sorry 13 minus 1 times the common difference that is 2 right so it is 63 plus 13 minus 1 it will be 12 times 2 it means 63 plus 24 right 12 to the 24 so 3 plus 7 right 3 plus 4 it will be 7 6 plus 2 it will be 8 so 87 is the number of this right uh, if you go move like this here will be some somewhere the 13th term will be 87 and here also if you move like this right after the 13th term after the 12th term the 13th term will come and the 13th term will be here also 7 20, 87 so 87 here also and here also this is the same term right same term in both APs and that is the 13th term okay so like this we have to solve this kinds of problem generally in this type of problem we have to equate right what is uh, uh, see the question exactly what are the equal parts in both cases just equate them right and but before that you should know what are the fundamental thing that we should know first here we need to find out first a and d means the first term and the common difference here also first term and the common difference if you know the first term and common difference of the both ap's then just equate what exactly the question is asking right what uh, what the exactly question is saying also what is the information given the clue to solve that question so just see that then you can easily find out just by equating the uh, problem right or whatever the uh, it has been given in the questions so hope uh, you learn this problem and this kinds of problem you will be able to do if you feel any kinds of problem then please reply me I will try to make some uh, videos on that uh, it, it may help you right and uh, I really recommend you to recommend you to go my website that is skying blogger right blogger dot com here I have posted a lots of problems right a lots of uh, examples are there also and some problems uh, typical related to this problem also have listed so i will suggest to go there right and visit once okay we'll be meeting in the next video with the uh, different type of problems up to uh, up to that time bye bye